What is going on, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. We are back with yet another test video, and this time we are going to be showcasing the Concavenator, the third dinosaur that appeared in the um, Cretaceous Predator pack, and we're going to see where it fits in with the rest of the carnivores. So when I did the Utah Raptor video a few days ago, Utah Raptor managed to, to beat Concavenator, which is why in today's video I want to see what its true limit is. Is its limit really Utah Raptor, or can it not take on any of the weaker carnivores? But without further ado, before we get into it, if you find yourself enjoying this video, make sure to whack a like on the video, subscribe for more, it would really help out a ton. And with that, let's begin the video. Let's release the Concavenator. Look at that. Honestly, one of the cooler looking dinosaurs in my opinion. So if we look at this thing's stats, we've got 102 base dominance along with 58 attack and 18 defense which is pretty strong for a small to medium-sized carnivore. Like, look at how unique this thing looks. It looks so cool. All right, let's bring out the first opponent, which is the Troodon. Now, this thing got absolutely milliwopped by the Utah Raptor, so let's see if the same happens here. By the way, that video has 4,000 views. I don't know how it has 4,000 views, it just has 4,000 views. Thank you guys so much for all the support, I really appreciate it. Oh, it looks like Concavenator's about to fight Troodon. Look at the size difference between the two. Yep, Troodon got one shot. Absolutely destroyed. Look at that, poor Troodon. didn't even stand a chance. All right, let's move on to the next opponent, which is Proceratosaurus. Now this thing is a little bit bigger than Troodon, but not by much. So we'll see how this guy fares. He might just be one-shotted as well, but we'll find out here. And right away we get a fight between the two. Now will Proceratosaurus stand a little more of a chance? Let's find out. Nope. Absolutely not. All right, let's move on to the next opponent, which is Deinonychus. Let's see how a Deinonychus fares against this one. The amphibian raptor over here. Seriously, you look like a tadpole with legs. You'd be a frog in this case. More like a fraud, am I right? Ha! <laughs> Got <he! laughs> uh. Alright, I'll let you guys know when they, these two fight. Yep, going right for Deinonychus. The amphibian rap. Ooh, he actually survives a hit. Though saying that, he didn't get a single hit in himself. Alright, so we know Concavenator can easily beat Deinonychus. Alright, up next we have the Dilophosaurus. Let's see how this guy fares. You'd think, because of his ability to spit venom or acid or whatever it's called, he would be able to blind the Concavenator and then attack it. But we'll see what happens here. Alright, they're fighting. Alright, Dilophosaurus takes a hit. Okay, they do a little dance. Okay, 87%. Oh, Dilophosaurus actually managed to do some damage there. Concavenator is now at 88%. Okay. I'm going to let you heal for a little bit before I send in the next opponent. But yeah, when it comes to milliwopping creatures, Dinonychus is the limit. Up next, we have the Dimetrodon. The only four-legged small carnivore that can fight with the smaller carnivores. We'll see how the 
Permian creature is able to handle this. Oh, it looks like they're about to fight. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Look at the Metrodon just scurry over. Alright. Okay. Dimetrodon took a hit, but he's already on low health. Okay, Dilophosaurus stood way more of a chance there. Alright, up next we have Pyroraptor. The original feathered raptor in this game. And the one that can apparently swim in for some reason, I don't know. If you wanted the Pyroraptor to swim, you should have gave it fins, not feathers. But then that would be too inaccurate, wouldn't it? Alright, it looks like they're about to fight. Let's see how Pyroraptor fares. Okay, takes a hit with ease. Alright, they do a little dance, which means Concavenator should be a little bit damaged. Oh, they call it off! 5% against 86%. Wow, this is the first battle that actually gets called off. That's that's actually quite impressive, Pyroraptor. Not really the strongest Dromaeosaur in the game, but definitely a unit. Yep, just as I suspected. Pyroraptor, gone. Up next, we have Monolophosaurus. Apparently this guy is a little bit stronger than Pyroraptor, though not as strong as Velociraptor or Atrociraptor. But yeah, we'll see how the single crested lizard manages to take on Concavenator. Alright, it looks like they're getting ready to fight. Let's go. Oh, okay, right after he drinks the snow. Whatever. Alright. Okay, do a little dance right off the bat. One doesn't attack the other. Okay, do a second dance. And it looks like they are calling it off. It's 5% against 85%. Alright, so the opponents are getting tougher for Concavenator to handle. Because the opponents are doing more damage to him. It's 100% against 88%. A little dance, alright. Followed by another dance. And a KO from Concavenator. Alright. Concavenator is at 90% health now. Some damage was dealt, so the opponents are getting tougher for him. It kind of took Utah Raptor a little longer to get to that point, but I digress. Alright, for our next opponent, we have Velociraptor. More specifically, the Jurassic Park 3 male. Interesting designs, I must admit. But let's see how this guy fares. Alright, looks like they're going to fight now. Yeah, we get it, Doctor. Ooh, okay, the first hit from Concavenator. Ooh, Velociraptor actually gets a legitimate hit in. The opponents are definitely getting tougher now. Alright, but not tough enough. 78% against 23%. Alright. The next fight has commenced. And Velociraptor has been taken out. Alright, Concavenator seems to be pretty strong in its own right. Up next we have the Dominion equivalent of the Velociraptor and Velociraptor's equal, the Atrociraptor. Let's see how this guy fares against the Concavenator. This one more specifically is Panthera who I believe is the only male in the Atrociraptor squad, while the rest of them are female. I think Ghost Red and Tiger are female, while this guy's a male. I'm not sure, it's always changing. Now since this guy pretty much has the same stats as Velociraptor, I think the same thing will go down here as it did with the Velociraptor. Oh, that's how the Atrociraptor hunts a goat. That's pretty cool, I guess. 
I don't think I've really seen a Trosseraptor hunting a goat before. All right, now it's time for them to fight. And Concavenator lands the first hit in. Followed by a dance from the two theropods. Another dance. All right, this is probably where they call it off. Yep. It's 27% against 76%. So yeah, the opponents are definitely getting tougher for Concavenator, but so far they're not tough enough to beat them. All right, it looks like they're about to fight again. All right, let's see what happens here. I think Concavenator is going to kill Pamphlet here. Yep, predicted it. Called it. Up next, we have the Australovenator, one of the stronger small theropods. We'll have to see who wins here. The Australian cheetah of the Cretaceous? Or Spain's very own carnivorous camel? We'll have to find out. Let's see how Australovenator fares against Concavenator. There's Australovenator charging in. Okay, the first hit comes from Concavenator. Ooh, followed by a hit from Australovenator. And then a little dance. But it's not looking good for Concavenator or Australovenator. 48% against 63%. Australovenator actually did a number on this guy, kind of. Alright, so... Maybe these guys might stand a little bit of a chance. Who knows? And just like that, Australovenator is out of there. Up next, we have the Herrerasaurus. Again, one of the stronger large or small carnivores, even. Now, if you guys remember back in Jurassic World Evolution 1, this was the only small carnivore that was able to give Velociraptor a run for its money. So let's see what happens here. Alright, it looks like the first fight is about to happen. Let's see. It depends on who gets the first hit in. Ooh, and Herrerasaurus actually gets the first hit in. That's pretty surprising. Followed by a hit from Concavenator. And then a little dance. Okay. Looks like... Oh, and Herrerasaurus actually won that. 7518. I didn't modify its stats or anything, did I? Um, how did it get 75 attack? I... I don't get that. Oh, this is a strong one. Oh, okay. Its trait is that it's very strong. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Maybe that's what happened with the Tarbosaurus. The reason it milliwopped the Giga was because it had a strong trait. Okay, so I went ahead and released a weaker Herrerasaurus and got rid of the stronger one. That literally explained why it was able to beat Concavenator that easily. So yeah, I want to make this more fair for Concavenator. I should probably check the creature's stats before doing a showcase. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, now that's more like it. Because the Herrerasaur had a strong trait before, it was able to beat Concavenator with ease. Alright, looks like they are calling it off. 74% against 100%. Alright, I'll let you guys know when the next fight happens. Alright, looks like another fight's about to happen. It's 100% against 100%. Let's see what happens here. Okay, they do a little dance. Alright. Ooh, followed by a hit from Herrerasaurus. Followed by another dance. And it looks like they might call this one off. 44% against 65%. Alright, Herrerasaurus is actually no joke here. 
He did some serious damage to Concavenator. 94% against 73%. Who's gonna win here? Ooh, a bite from Concavenator. Followed by a bite from Herrerasaurus. Ooh, Herrerasaurus isn't really going down without a fight. Even without the strong. They do a dance. And that's when they call it off again. 13% against 76%. Alright, it might be over for Herrerasaurus. Ooh, Herrerasaurus does survive a hit. Oh, Herrerasaurus actually is not going down without a fight. Do a little dance and they might call this off again. Yep, they're calling it off again. You're a champion. You know that? So what I'm going to do is move you to another enclosure. You can have your freedom from Concavenator. Yeah, I'm, I've decided to grant this Herrerasaurus its freedom because it, it doesn't go down without a fight. I gotta give it that. Alright, next up we have Utah Raptor. I know I've talked trash about the calls before in my showcase video, but they're really starting to um, grow on me. Alright, Utah Raptor doesn't have a strong gene. It doesn't have an aggressive gene, though. 60 attack, 25 defense. Alright, you've got your freedom now. You can do whatever you want. So cool. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. It is over for Concavenator. And the final opponent. I kind of want to see Concavenator fight and eat the nightmare for all small carnivores. Oh, looks like Concavenator wants to square off with Indoraptor. I think it's a one shot, but we'll see what happens here. Let's see what the animation looks like. Is it going to be the same as the Raptors, or is it just going to be a medium-sized one? Okay. Okay. It does have the same death animation towards an Indoraptor as, you know, the Dromaeosaurs do. Alright, now this Concavenator is genetically not with max attack, max defense, and max resilience. We'll have to see what happens here. This guy doesn't have a strong trait, does he? He does have a fit trait. Oh, he does have a strong trait. Hmm. Okay. I will have to see what happens here. Okay. Concavenator is able to stand up a little. Though saying that, two hits. I'm just going to get a screenshot for the thumbnail real quick. That's a cool screenshot. I'm going to take a snapshot of that. There we go, for the thumbnail. So the Concavenator stood up a little more, but the Indoraptor was strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make another genetically modified Concavenator, because I kind of want it to win, and we're just going to see if we can get an Indoraptor that doesn't have the strong trait. All right, now this Concavenator is even stronger than before. I don't want to see this guy win against the Utah or the Indoraptor. All right, here's the next Indoraptor, which is green. All right, I guess these two Indoraptors are fighting, I guess. Oh, no. Hmm. I forgot to tranquilize this Indoraptor. Well, there's really nothing I can do here, so that, that Concavenator's as good as dead. Alright, let's try this one more time. A genetically modified Concavenator with the fitness, strength, and health defense. And whatever. Versus an Indoraptor without the strength trait. Alright, let's see what happens here. Ooh. Okay, Concavenator had all the traits necessary, and Indoraptor still won. 
All right, you hate to see it. I am so sorry, Concavenator. But with that said, that is going to have to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.